Well, the arraignment for the man accused of kidnapping and killing a jogger last month was set for today, but it's been pushed back. Sydney Sutherland went missing after going for a jog near her home. Two days later, her body was found, and Quake Llewellyn was arrested for her murder. But still no charges have been filed. Our Claire Kreitz has more on why the court date was moved. A white cross and pink teddy bear, now a sea of stuffed animals, crosses, candles, and pictures in memory of Sydney Sutherland. This memorial shows what Sutherland meant to her community, a community that's waiting for justice. There's been no charging decision made at this point. Quake Llewellyn was taken into custody for Sutherland's murder more than a month ago. He's accused of kidnapping, raping, and killing the 25-year-old. Today, he was set to appear in court for his arraignment, but that date has now been pushed back. And we're just continuing to do our job and continuing to work and uh, uh, working with the prosecutors trying to get everything put together. Sheriff David Lucas says the investigation is still ongoing. He and the prosecutor want to make sure they dot every I and cross every T. Any case, not, not just this one, any, any case that we work, we take our time to make sure everything is covered that needs covered and, and uh, make sure that we have all of the information that we need. This case does hit a little closer to home because Lucas not only knows Sutherland, but also the man accused of killing her. Anytime you work a case and, and you know either side or both sides, you know, it's a small community, um, it's always a little personal, yes. While this community will have to wait a little longer to see justice served, Lucas says it will happen. We're just doing our job. We're making sure it's done right. Well, Llewellyn is now set to appear in court on October 29th. He's being held in the Randolph County Jail. We now